Marco, hey, what's going on? Hi, how are you? Hi, you, you seem already ready on a, you know? Yeah, I'm just <laughs> linking to the Facebook page. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I should have given like a, a couple minutes just to let you, but no, I'm, I'm so just ready for this. You know, I, I woke up 10 minutes ago. I'm just like, let's, let's just get into it already. Um, this is streaming flashback. I, I realized I haven't done a little fanfare in the last couple of episodes, um, but bring it back. Uh, cause this is, uh, this is kind of my, like my choice as far as like a match that I wanted to talk about. Um, it's the most recent match. That uh that we're, that we're doing. We haven't talked about a 2021 match, I believe. So this is our first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we have uh, another teams match. Uh, one that I'm very happy. Uh, two of my good friends. They are, of course, the 2020 Movie War Zone Rookie Team of the Year. They won the 2020 Movie War Zone Mix Up Tournament. They are our good friends, Ethan Bella. Scott Harvey, Legal Ease. Hello. Gentlemen, welcome. I kind of forgot we won that award, to be honest. <laughs> that I was nice to, was like, hmm. to be reminded, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, it was kind of crazy because, like, there were a couple teams and then it was mixed up that, you know, it was all rookie teams. And then I think yeah. after round two, Michael and I were just talking, was like, whoever's, whoever wins the tournament is going to win rookie team. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I, sort I think of like the, was set up to just be yeah, whoever won. I think all the nominated teams it. were from Mix Up, if I'm remembering correctly, or at least like four of them were maybe. I, yeah, probably most that, does, that does sound correct, yes. But Ethan, this is your second time on the show. It is. You've joined the, you, the illustrious Two Times Club. Congratulations. It's, a, it's an honor. Thank you guys so much. I've been Absolutely. watching since I was a kid, and I always thought, like, someday it could yeah, happen, exactly. and here I am yeah. twice. Yeah, this is <laughs> our version of, like, the SNL five times. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Baldwin, yeah. you know. We're going to have the gold jackets or whatever, <laughs> yeah. whatever they, uh, they do. But, um, and then, Scott, I know you've uh, – I feel a little bad because we should have got you on for um, the concept uh, pain and gain match. I feel mm -hmm. laughing because I because I, I I was I I I'd be a little surprised that that's like that's one of your favorite matches, right? Yeah, well, this was funny because like we were talking about like having me on for a match, but like until the tournament this year, it was like I've been involved in some like amazing matches, but I have lost in every one of them, and and you yeah. guys were like, I don't want to have you on for a match that you lost. I, I really don't care. Like again, the concept versus pain and gain, and my first match with Adam Collins definitely still stings but i think yeah. both of those would probably be fun to talk about on here like i don't really care that much but then yeah we had this tournament this year with really the first two matches of the tournament um the team's tournament yeah, could have you know were both great matches that we won so you're like a Bulls fan so you know talking about pain is nothing new for you so it'll be fine i'm used so. to it yeah exactly yeah. you're you're so right michael thank you for reminding so, me yeah. i mean before I guess before we get into my favorite word starting with C, I mean, actually, no, we should probably just get into it already. Context. That has an N and a T. And then it's <laughs> an N and a T. <laughs> yeah, fair. Um, I would like to talk, like, I guess before we, you guys started, it became a team, how did you guys, like, I assume you guys were friendly, like, before Legal Years had started. Like, how did kind of, like, the friendship between you two kind of take place? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we um, Club Dread was looking for members and um, we had seen uh, Scott and Ryan like playing pretty well together and we were like, we need people and they seem like a good team. Um, so we reached out to them and they, uh, it was like a little back and forth, but eventually they, they were like, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's join. So they joined Club Dread. Um, so then, you know, Scott and I just interacted through there for a little while. Um, I feel like it wasn't like too much time before mix up, right? No, it, it really wasn't. And that was kind of the funny thing was that you guys had reached out to Ryan and I and both of us. And we were like, all right, we're going to if you know, we're, we're only going if it's both of us are going or we're staying. Right. Because we obviously we were we were with Alex at the time. We had a different manager um, and we decided oh, that we were right. both going to go. You know, we were going to continue playing together. We had this great debut match against you guys. And then like like Ethan said, within maybe a couple of weeks of getting to Club Dread, it was like, well, we're blowing up the team's division and we're just <laughs> throwing throwing everybody in the mix. But like Ryan and I talked about it and we were like, I mean, this is the only way we're going to get a team's match for the rest of the year. Because that was like taking yeah. you through to the end of the season. Wait, so we were like, let's wait, just give it a go. And were you guys in Club Dread during the singles tournament? 
No, we weren't because I played okay. Andrew um, yeah. in the first round, and he wasn't Alex was that still that time, my right? manager during that match. Yeah. So, uh, right. so it was obviously, and so yes, it would have been a very short turnaround. So that's kind of, I mean, honestly, that just comes out. It was like bad timing in a sense because Payne and Game, like, impressive debut match. And then I think because at the time they're like, yeah, we're going to give Payne and Game another match. But also Cody hadn't realized that, oh, yeah, we're going to do mix up. It's just like right. a little bit of bad timing on and that sort of uh, uh, unfortunate happenstance. But it did it did lead to, to this, uh, fortunately. Uh, but Which, and of, I mean, Ethan, do you want to? talk about like because you were like, gonna retire weren't you and then you were like oh, fuck it yeah. i'll just play yeah i actually yeah i was gonna stop playing and i like i even messaged like the admins and everything i was like I'm, I'm gonna take a step back for a while um and but they were like yeah we're doing multiplex mix up and i was like all right i can do mix up that's like pretty non-committal it's like you know whatever i'll just join a random team win a, a match could be match, could be like one done. match or you could be like yeah matches, exactly and like if, it, if we win a few yeah. then i get to just stop after that um, but then, like Scott messaged me during the uh, like the uh, the picks, and I remember him just being, or he messaged the group chat, and he was just like, "Let's go!" Like tagged me, and I was like, "What?" And I was like, "Oh shit, okay, that'll be fun." Um, and then, like we played together, and I just had a lot of fun, and you know, some timing in my life worked out, and I was like, "All right, I'll keep playing for a little while." Yeah, yeah, cause, I mean, because like, I said, oh, I was just gonna say, like when I was with Alex, you know, we kind of did our own thing, so I did still didn't really know a lot of people, so when. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, He's like, and that's uh, a story I'll, I'll never feel comfortable repeating. It's like the Forrest Gump speech. <laughs> yeah, he was saying that he came to Club Dread like hoping someday that he can team up with me, and, yeah. and uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's all he's ever wanted in this league. Good lost in translation. Uh, yeah, recreation here. Uh, okay. well, I don't know, should we hold? On? Should we? Should we just continue and let Scott? Uh, I think he's gonna. Have to, he's gonna like leave. I'm sure in like two seconds. I think. Yeah, just you can just go into whatever you're gonna do. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say because I mean I was gonna talk about the um, so the mi mi mixed up tournament happens and then oh he's back. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Uh, says, yep. Test test one two. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I had to switch to my hotspot, but sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, um, I think I was just saying that like I we didn't I didn't really know a lot of people, so I was just hoping to get with somebody in the faction, and then it was Ethan. And obviously he was my manager, so I was like, cool, let's do this. Like, this will be fun. At least I got with somebody that I kind of know. Yeah, I was happy with that pairing, too, because, like, you know, there were choices in that mix-up, you know? Her. Her. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just, there, 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 there were people, you know? So I, was Ryan Reed, I, got. I, I was good with him. Um, <laughs> well, I, <just> shot. <laughs> he's our biggest fan. I'm sorry. Um, I was – so – that is kind of the most that I I'll never forget like that that day mix up tournament because sixteen uh, thirty two people sixteen teams and just the chances that like you two in the same faction and with Bar and Pain like they also yeah kind of, they became a team in that tournament it's just like nothing was nothing was staged nothing was fixed it just it was the the luck of the wheel and so the fact that like you two became a team it's just kind of like that's kind of your that's your origin story like that whole tournament it was it kind of designed for you guys i mean that's, that's literally their it's, origin story yeah. It literally, it's, just, it's yeah that's your time um it's great um but with all these time teams now. it's like it's crazy because it's like with with Bo and redshaw and holtzman and i mean we weren't in it but like so many players and then you guys after i guess after the first round how'd you guys feel like what was kind of your your, your thoughts going well in. you guys were like but, we are going to just mine the mine to the death of clive barker on your taylor <laughs> joy like you guys came in with the right. mindset Hell and yeah. i respect it i respect the mindset but yeah i'm still mine well, yeah. this day <laughs> i think i think that yeah honestly we kind of are but i think that and that ethan will probably back me up on this like immediately from that first match it was like we balanced each other out so well in ways maybe that we weren't expecting. And like, yeah, definitely. I said this at the, after the title match, I was like, if you go back and watch our matches um, and you like add up the individual contributions of each person, 
they probably came out to like even like whenever I didn't know a question, it seemed like Ethan knew it. And whenever Ethan didn't know a question, it seemed like I knew it. So right from the beginning, it's like, this is what you want in a teammate. And that, I I think you could tell that from like the very first match. Yeah, I felt really good about our chemistry, like immediately when we were playing. Yeah. And then after that, it's, you know, I mean, you guys were the, what's crazy is that you guys were the 12th seed, the 12th seed of the 16 seed tournament. Like that, we definitely weren't expected game. to win that first match, yeah. No. I mean, yeah. Um, and then round two, I was another TK. Both round one and round two were TKOs. And then round three, you played Barr and, and Ryan. And mm-hmm. you come up with the victory there, which I was, I'll, I'll admit, I was a little shocked by. I mean, I'm not saying I had no faith. So were we. Well, but <laughs> it was just like, Barr was the champion at the point And him and Ryan were doing really well. Um, and you guys win that pretty handedly. And then it's the finals of the tournament against Bowden and Thomas. Like, what was your thought? What, what was your mindset going into that match? That we would lose. <laughs> well, I, I'll be honest. I thought we were going to lose against, um, you know, against R- Ryan and Andrew. And once we made it, I was like, we made it this far. Like we can totally win this. Like that was, you know, that was the first time I was like, I think we can actually win this. And I was just like, I, came in really with not any fear to that match and i mean obviously we we got a friendly spin of the wheel like let's call it what it is but uh also boat just had an off night like if you watch his round one in that match he definitely had an off night like which is very very rare so we happened to, to catch that so that helped us out too um and you know i just felt like we could definitely win that match then we did and then we got to the title match and i was like <laughs> well we're not gonna win it, funny i thought we're not gonna win this i was like we made it here. This is awesome. Who knows when we'll get to pay in a title match again. Let's enjoy this. Ethan yeah. told me afterwards, he was like, I thought we were going to win in the title match. <laughs> I, well, it's because <laughs> I had gone the whole tournament thinking we're going to lose this match, we're going to lose this match, we're going to lose this match. And then we won, won, won. And then eventually I was just like, all right, you know what? This is it. We're going to cap off this streak. It's going to happen. I feel good. It's redemption. It's not even redemption. It's just it like, is. you know, it's it's going to happen. And, you know. Yeah, it's poetic. So, yeah exactly um but i will i will never forget watching the legalies uh woodsboro's finest match live in my car on my way home after doing some shopping and just <laughs> Cody messaging me thing are you watching this right now because he shared us the link to the match and just because we, we were like we were looking forward to that match just because we were going to find out who we we're going to yeah. play and we had like actual we, interest like you know to, uh, we yeah. were very interested in the match and so when you guys had the lead after round two and then win by TKO, I was just, oh, I was just so excited because that was, uh, it's one of the, it was the match I was like the most looking forward to, like one that I was like, this is, I mean, I wanted to play, I wanted to play Ethan again. In case what was that, Jake? No, I couldn't, yeah, we, we know what you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I never knew um, that this is it's definitely like the first time I'm hearing of this. I, yeah, I'm sorry, I've told this you wanted for to play Ethan. two and a half years. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, and just and we and we play in the title match, which was we put a lot of work into that because you guys picked Aaron Sorkin and Clive Barker. It was just like yeah. was I, Aaron I don't Sorkin know about before, uh, like trial of Chicago. So, I was, was trial of Chicago was Chicago eligible? I think it was right. I don't think so. I don't think so. And, like and, a, and being the Ricardo, so it was the good Aaron Sorkin. It was the good right. <laughs> um, but I remember putting a lot of effort in Aaron Sorkin. I don't know, Michael, did you put? Did you like work on? I well, is that how we did it? This is where I was watching, and then I'd go on Letterboxd, and then like five hours later, I'd see you watch the same movie. I'm like, motherfucker, we got to like coordinate. <laughs> so I stopped watching I Sorkin. Did. No, we did it like last year, but for that yeah, match, do you remember which, kept, like, which Barker movie you guys overlapped on? Well, no, well, I, I, I was when I did, but I did the Barker studying, and that I first one, I was like, fuck it. Barker. Clearly, Jake's just gonna watch. All the Sorkin, so I'm like, I'm not gonna no, follow with Sorkin then. I literally watched every yeah. Sorkin movie that was available, yeah. even Malice, the one with Nicole Kidman. And, yeah, well, that was on um, stage. Insane I watched that movie, one, and, I, and I'm insane, glad I yeah. watched that one. That movie's insane. Yeah. It is an uh, interesting twist, that one. Uh, but yeah, we play great match, nominated for match of the year, had fun on that one. Uh, and then next, then the season after, hit a bit of a, a stumble against Sharks. Uh, and then it's tournament time, like right away, like after that. Um, and then in case it wasn't, unless you weren't going to get an easier chance on this tournament, uh, you guys have to play Bo again. And now with the inclusion yeah. of Redshaw, uh, in double indemnity. 
Uh, I remember Scott talking to Michael about it, and he was just like, oh, wow, you think we'd get an easy round one like, after <laughs> last year? <laughs> like, damn, we're going against, against uh, Bo and uh, Rich. I guess, I guess, what was your, I mean, did you guys think you were going to, I, I mean, did you think you could win that match? It's like, it's more I'm, I'm more interested in. No, I didn't. Uh, I mean, I, 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 we could. I thought we could, but like, I didn't think we yeah. would. And you know, yeah. it was well, yeah, funny because same, like, same as Scott, like, you know, hypothetically yeah. we could, but yeah, I thought we weren't going to. I, uh, you, you know, you just knew like Double Indemnity had that first loss, and it was like you knew they were going to be the sneaky team that was like a lower seed, and somebody was going to get screwed yeah. over by having some top seed was going to get screwed over by having to play them. Yeah. And then I was backstage. I make because I managed beat the geeks during that match when beat the geeks beat Double Indemnity, and obviously I was really excited for them. And then in the back of my head, I'm like, I know what is going to happen now. That Double Indemnity <laughs> have two losses now. I know exactly what is going to happen. Yeah. And then it <laughs> happened, and I was like, we had to fall on the sword for all these top seated teams but i mean did it. also <clears throat> match of the year contention is is blatantly versus double indemnity that is that's a crazy match as well because it's <laughs> the same situation that happened with in, with indemnity where it's just like that, they play the, really um, well but just the not sabrina as good one, as right? that's yes. the sabrina one yeah with the yeah. 4.0 yeah. that they yeah. Second we had a lot of controversy in that tournament. Yeah. It just every match we had, there was something towards the end. Something yeah. happened. At least, yeah. at least with that one, that like end. you guys, would, you guys had the chance to still answer your four pointer. We still so. could have had our four pointer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're lucky in that sense that they missed the four, but it's also just like a crazy match in the sense that, like, I don't know what it, what it is with double internet. I don't know who they pissed off in teams, but like the two finalists of the Warzone singles <laughs> tournament, and it's just like just. They, they always just play the the, the, the team when they're yeah. on like their best yeah. days. Like, it's crazy. Again, it was a fr it was a friendly spin. Also, I mean, we got our one of our strengths, and they got opponent's, opponents. choice, I believe, because we gave them Barker. Yeah, so. yeah they had to do Barker. That's I remember right. that. Yeah. But you guys win that match, and then so and there was like a whole thing where like apparently one of the movies asked like wasn't isn't actually eligible or some shit like that, right? And then, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we got the, we, need, we got the we steal on it that. to end round two, and then. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is no longer considered eligible for that category is all we will say about that all right uh, but you guys <laughs> win round one boy girl thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys win round one and now you can make it to round two and round two is kumite jake Meltzer, bill cariola what kind of your was your i guess thoughts on on both of them going into that match um, well, I, were you, were I, you treating the tournament now like a sort of like gravy that you'd like taken down like the double indemnity or were you getting back in the mindset like fuck we can win the tournament again oh. no I, I mean it, I don't know about Scott but for me I think <laughs> we talked about it too but like I was like oh we're playing Jake and Bill like that's we're not we're not getting lucky with this tournament like we're getting all the hard ones is like first couple of rounds I think Scott agreed on that right um because at least Meltzer like especially like Bill I love and you know but I've played him a few times I think but Meltzer I was like I'd never played him. I was like, he's he's a study or oh, he's yeah. a really good player. He is, yeah, yeah so dedicated. I'm, I mean, yeah, he's he's one of the top players in the league now, obviously. Uh, and Bill, I mean, I will peek behind the curtain. I voted Bill for most improved player in Warzone this year. So yeah. um, I think I did too, actually. Yeah. That shows you how I feel about his performances. Um, so, and, and I mean, even going into the team's tournament, it was like, we knew it, it was just a loaded team's field, like for that tournament, um, top to bottom. Again, you have like double indemnity and Kumite who are like lower, lower seeds. Even, um, we just knew there was going to be really no easy matches. And so, um, <clears throat> it was like, all right, one down, let's do it again. Uh, but I, you know, I did have some confidence. I was like, maybe we're just like a tournament like a tournament team or like the team of yeah. destiny when you get in the tournaments and, you know we're gonna go on another run i mean you guys won one tournament i mean how hard is it to win a second tournament I mean, oh yeah yeah you guys do it again <laughs> uh but yeah i think let's we've got enough context out the way i think we should yeah like now match. later like finally give me one now second later. to fix my internet yeah all good oh i guess i didn't play uh there's nothing yeah, really I, in the intros that we need to watch right jake I just sort of skip. I don't believe so now. Like, I, I assume it's just pretty nice. casual. Cash. 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so with that being said, so we'll say, I'm very happy we don't have to rewatch to my to my intros. First. I just I I don't remember what I said. I just hate I hate watching them. <laughs> yeah, that's not fun. Uh, round number one is it going to work like this? Uh, round that it always is just whiteboard round. You're gonna get. Are you still doing the spin the wheel at this point? No, I believe right Michael. That might have been the last time I ever did. It was a match to Jake. And if it's not, then it should have been. Bonus question. All to the point. There's no stealing because we're all answering the same questions. Uh, reminder that each team has three repeats and one challenge to use throughout the match. Any questions before we get started? I'm, I think I watched this match like three times, like the week it All right. dropped. I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah. since oh, yeah. just it's just it's in the category of so I don't remember any questions or anything. Who plays Daisy Buchanan? The love interest. Yeah, of course, Bill does a classic Gatsby. Bill on this one as well. Of like, Great Gatsby. well, you'll see, you'll see it. Where Greatest biopic ever made. He just pulls Great. it out of his ass. Pulls, I was gonna say, look at really look cool. at his face. He's like, yeah. <laughs> what? Huh? This is a movie. <laughs> yeah. And then he writes. You say she's writing. sort of like uh, a, a promising uh, actress. Or they probably think I'm just an idiot, which <laughs> no, I would not. <laughs> the good letter box would be better than Michael thought today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what inspired Michael to Carrie finally watch it today. Wonderful but. Carrie Mulligan. <laughs> and Scott. Oh, I butchered the spelling of Carrie. It's embarrassing. Carrie Mulligan. And Bill. Did you do it with okay. IE? I, I did R R I E, which is like, <laughs> what is Carrie that? Who spells <laughs> Carrie that way? Carrie Mulligan. Carrie is correct. All the questions for the first question. It would be Carrie, right? <laughs> Uh, yes, Carrie Mulligan, I, a.k.a. Carrie Wyatt, yeah. the woman I always mistake with Michelle Williams. Yes, uh, your more. next question is going to come in Action Adventure. <laughs> I can say that. William Friedkin directed this 70s adventure film about four men. I freak out for a second here because I can't remember the name of it and then I do. In a jungle this was one of those questions where like, I only know the answer from being in movie trivia leagues. Like, I've never seen this movie. Well, I've only heard of it from other movie okay, trivia matches. Did. When we did in the uh, the 2020 uh, like 4v4 multiverse thing, Cam this is, is like I think this is the first question. Not gonna lie, that's great that, news. Because we were on the opposite teams uh, so and five, we played against each other in round one. Four, this is the first question. Three, oh really? Yeah. Two, what I was doing, I think, I, and I think I, I think you put the O's like down. Like like uh, let us start. Yeah, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> the original is incredible. Watch the wages of fear. Sorcerer. Scott. Sorcerer. Sorcy, I spelled it O-R, which yeah, it's not. I thought yeah. I was going back and forth between. <laughs> did he direct a French connection? He did. He did. Okay. Uh, and Ethan. Sorcerer. That is correct. Uh, sorcerer is the correct answer, so everyone oh. but Bill. Holtzman, like, dropped out or something. Uh, yeah, I mean, number yeah. three, which comes in the category it of family films. Justin Long, Matthew Gray Gubler, and Jesse McCarthy. <laughs> I love this question. Cha chaotic Parker. question. Yeah. What? Yeah, this is <laughs> Kingsman level <laughs> shit. Uh, so R. Complete guess yeah. on this one. Death, Mary, kill those three people. I, I guess we're we just thinking. Okay, so it's three Mary characters. If they're voicing, that means they're CG. What? It's mu kind of musical. Right, okay. Jesse McCartney. It's got to be something um, musical. It, it did come one thing later, 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 but I didn't get it. Two. One, and then Ethan makes down, a sledge fest. <laughs> Scott on this one, I think. <laughs> Forgot about that. Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm sorry, can you just show your board again? You cut for a second. Oh, I like erase. It's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah, he, he no, always you can see, Yeah, just making sure. Uh, and Bill. The Grooves. And uh, Ethan. Listen to Sludge Fest. Uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> if y'all don't know, know what, what that is. Alvin and yeah. the Chipmunks. It's, ba it's basically Alvin where they the just Chipmunks. slow down uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks and the only songs. Like, that's oh, and so right, it just sounds like... It is really <laughs> oh, it, it sounds <laughs> hellish. It's yeah. amazing. What film did Ridley Scott earn his first Best Director This was a big Oscar swing nomination? right here, this question was. Yeah, that's it. Good question. Uh, so, so now... Because this is us... This is, no, I'm going to get right. scrutinized for not bringing up Schmerda on that shit. But this is us in Paul versus Barbarian. Okay. So I wonder, no. was that after? Bar Just Bar kind of interesting Bar that they both come out at the same time. Here. But like, I wonder if that was like immediately after uh, this match or a month three. after. I, I think yeah, I'd probably well, stop watching at this point. Because of that match. Because I was, yeah, I was thinking that I'm kidding. And Ethan. Gladiator. And Jake. I also went Thelma and Louise. And Scott. I also went Gladiator. 
Thelma and Louise is correct. Nice Good job. Oh, and Phil does enough. it again. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, as we get to question number four, or question number five, sorry, in the category of coming of age. What does the title refer to in the 1998 film Rushmore? Oh, I'm so mad I missed this one. I just thought it was too obvious that it was the school. Yeah, I know. It is kind of a like, don't mm. overthink it type question. <laughs> I hadn't seen the movie in like years, so I was like, well, I know it's, it's about a play is like the big thing at the end. Uh, that I won't <laughs> nice, Jason. <patient. laughs> it's the, the next question. Yeah. Five, four, no, <laughs> three, <laughs> two, one, pens down. We go to Ethan. Is it a play? And Jake? So is it the name of the school where it takes place? And Scott? Yeah, I said school. And Bill? Yeah, it's school. I mean, if you're going to guess anything Louis other than the school, Heather play is probably the back to school other than mm -hmm. as in not like the most yeah, the mountain. focused ones. <laughs> the mountain. Yeah. All right, your next category. I mean, that's probably what horror. eight year old me would have said. Yeah. One of classic <laughs> horror film follows yeah, Dr. John Jake. Now, now this is the one I'm <laughs> mad at myself for missing because Hill House. I know the the TV series. I just like yeah, again, I just House, yeah. It. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one second. But yeah, no, they're they're doing tonight. They're doing a double feature of Pretty in Pink and some film called Cooley High, and then <laughs> Cooley High is really good. You really need to yeah. Uh, well, I I <laughs> would not see it, but I had to host cinema. this match. Five. <laughs> Oh, well, Four, I'm sorry. Three, two, one, pens down, and we go to Jake first. The Haunting? And Scott? Yeah, I missed it. I said that one. And Bill? I wrote The Haunting of Hill House. So I think and I Ethan? Bill. I wrote The Haunting. I think what's even the crazier is, is the knowing the outcome. Like the show any that, uh, additional like, points yeah, changes everything. Oh, it's terrifying, uh, like looking back on it like that. Like if Bill had just got rid of Hill House, house and just had the haunting. That's yeah. it. And, it's done. Actors, just, and again, th yeah. thinking about the next match too, like the clash. Oh, yeah, if we had yeah. done that challenge, yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the fall. Yeah, it's just like power of hindsight. Some people go. I have seen two of the three. So is this question six I or seven? I have seen one of these. I assume six. Um, I, 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 I know what the last six. question is. I don't remember the you last question. You know which one it is. I think which one this is. Because at this point, Jake's the other one was perfect. I need like, to know why we're like, three, shit, if he gets a perfect two, round, like, this is one going to make him suffer. Or, or do you just not, are you not even thinking about it? I, I think about well, that. And Bill. Yeah, because typically we're a pretty good round one team. Like we can yeah. stick with most teams in round one. Um, this was like one of our few matches where like the other team did have a decent advantage over us after round one. Like I think it was three points. So uh, if Jake hits this, he will get a perfect round. I have to. Yeah, so that was number seven. Bar him with the final question. All right, your final question is going to come in seventies. You also like know as soon as you hear the question. The nineteen seventy five like film round. shampoo is set during the eve of what event? Yeah, like I remember the previous match, or the two previous <laughs> matches when we played Sharks cool. and Kirk had a perfect round just, and the last question was like, uh, what instrument does Sam play cool, in Casablanca? Uh, and like as soon as I read the question, I was like, okay, well, he's yeah. got a perfect round. No, <laughs> you made the joke. Three. Repeat the question. All right. Mate's first repeat. All right, and your I don't remember really how I knew this, except 70s. maybe I was just looking up how Ashby movies one day. The 1975 film but... Shampoo is set I had, like, during the movie. I know what it is. Uh, I, know, I know one consigliere is backstage and likes the bad movie Bill reference. Uh, <laughs> is, what, is, is the answer the Watergate scandal? Um, it's a, no, it's a, it's just like an actual election, right? Movie is presidential oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I almost, because I was pretty sure I knew what year it was to election, I almost wrote the year too, but I was like, no, they didn't ask for specific. I'm not going to tempt fate like that. Like, I'm pretty sure it was 1968, maybe. And uh, Ethan. It went a little more specific. I said the storming of the Bastille. <laughs> <laughs> I legitimately thought it was like a um, some kind of like biopic or something. Is it the uh, presidential election? Drama. And Scott. I also said presidential election. Presidential election is correct, meaning Jake uh, does have a perfect round. So Jake, uh, I will give you your bonus question. Uh, your bonus question will come in the category of there isn't one. Uh, you don't have to write anything down. You can just say your answer. You're the only one getting it. Your question 
What 2009 drama stars Saoirse Ronan, Mark oh, Wahlberg? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kind of an easy one. Yeah. 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 The lovely like they Susie the Salmon. The I saw this movie in theaters yeah. and we'll um, never forget. Yeah, that yeah. so they had Susie a three Susie Salmon. Game, right? yeah. Ever, yeah. Is that what you have Which is like, that's just that's never, correct. you never want to see that. All right, then we'll get into round number two. Mm. Round number two three is the lead. wheel round. I'm going to bring up the lovely wheel from wheelaside.com. A team that's in the lead can choose whether they would like to spin first or defer, whichever team spins. If they like what they get on their first spin, they can spin again, unless it lands on opponent's choice. Whatever category they end up with, uh, they will get five questions in worth two points apiece. Uh, so, Michael, can you pause it when we answer the round two? Thank you. Oh, sorry, I just want to say the round two when they... Oh. It's available. The, cat the categories. Uh, with that being said, <laughs> Barker, pre-2000. Yeah. So, what, I guess, what were you kind of... Uh, what were you hoping oh, for? This is the... This this is the De Palma era. That's right. <laughs> De Palma. Yeah. It was De Palma and, and Barker. So, what, yeah, like, yeah. kind of, so what do we have? We have... Pre-2000s, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Star Wars Age Teen. Is it a decade? 2010s, maybe? 70s. Oh, 70s. De Palma, yeah. Star Trek, mystery thriller, music. Musical. Musicals. Yeah. 2000s, Jean-Claude yeah. Van Damme. Coming of age, guess, 19, 70s, 80s. Yes. Not a super Ryan. strong wheel for me uh, personally. I was kind of worried about this one. Musicals as well as spinners and opponents' choice. With that being said, uh, Kumite, would you like to? We definitely didn't want or... Star Trek. I mean, I, I, think we'll go I watched like yes. the next gen movies, but that was about it. I yeah, ask, um, and I don't know Star Trek. Trek. Yeah. Yeah. Those are movies also where it's like you can watch them and still have like no idea what the questions are. Your first spin is away. Billy Madison is a great movie. It lands on coming of age slash teen. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I personally Maybe. feel that we should keep it, Ethan. <laughs> I feel pretty strong about it, and I think there's some things. So let's say this is boys. like, gen I mean, general category wise. What if Scott, is this, this is like, a very uh, sliding doors okay. moment yeah. right here? I feel good about it. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely like a top three or four, like a general category for me. So I was like, we should go with this because we don't want to hit Star Trek or something like that. Yeah, because we can work our way through. And it's it's a good category for Ethan too. Like it's yeah, it's not, I feel like it's a good category. You're still coming of age. Ethan's gonna like get the two thousand and nine. That being said, your first question, Louise, in the category of coming of age slash teen. Who plays? Charlie's English teacher, Mr. Anderson, in The Perks of Being a Wild. I mean, one of my favorite did you movies. Know so. name? <laughs> I know. I probably, I, I probably I did because, like, it, again, it's one of my favorite movies. So, is what you hear, Charlie? Go ahead. Twenty tens boy. I love how Meltzer throws his hands up, like, oh, what an easy question, but like, not when he gets <laughs> and, easy questions. So I will say about this question, another thing that I think makes us a good team is that we usually will trust each other on these types of situations. Like if one person is like, I'm pretty sure in a round two, we will say, okay, go for it. And this was one where we didn't do that. And obviously like it, it didn't pay off, but then you'll see like in the fifth question, in 2010, we were in a similar spot, and I told Ethan, I was like, just go for it this time. Yeah, and that yeah. was the social studies question. I'm not like, oh, we will get to mm -hmm. <laughs> like if we go multiple, and that's an option, we're just gonna have to go for it for one point. But I don't know, do you want us to go for it? I, I think Jake probably knows it. Let's go multiple. All right, All right multiple choice. Should have right. just gone for it. I had a good feeling. A Elvis Presley, B Johnny Cash. C Prince or D Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson, final answer. That's correct for one point. Oh, I literally just looked at this question in full metal, so yes. <laughs> I was wow. sitting there, I was like, but also, like, it's like, God, is he gonna shoot it? Uh, no, it's uh, sudden death. Oh my god, it's yeah. crazy just going in like in one Rebel point. Without a Cause. Man. Sal Minio's character is nicknamed after what this philosopher? Pretty, this is a pretty tough question. To I had no clue. I haven't even yeah. seen Rebel Without a Cause. I've never seen it either. I yeah. as well. All right, your options are. I was actually Plato, about to watch it this past Nietzsche, weekend, and then I C. didn't. C. Socrates or D. Confucius. Great story. It would I be know. if it was called Confucius. <laughs> or just Nietzsche. Just Sal I mean, Minio. Nietzsche, 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 Nietzsche is just yeah, crazy. Yeah. yeah. Screw it. Yeah. Final answer: Plato. That is correct for one point. Amber Tamblin, Alexis Adele. <laughs> this, this, is, this is a great uh, moment of synergy. And I just like nodded two eight. names into it. That's kind of, I'm kind <laughs> of ashamed of that. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is on TV. Like, Final today. answer. 
That's correct. I, I love to fight maybe. So they're fun. I have to try really hard not to. I mean, yeah, I love me Gilmore Girls, so I pretty much uh, know all of Alexis Bledel's filmography. <laughs> In fast times at Ridgemont High, Spicoli is forced to Here miss the graduation dance to yeah. study what subject. Would now, I have no idea. I had no idea on this one. I, ooh, I think it's social studies, but I'm not sure. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's social studies. But I, I could be wrong on this one. I don't know if we want to shoot it. Let's let's go for it this time. We didn't social go for Social studies, final answer. Okay. That is incorrect, oh, Kumite, for the two-point steal. I think it's history. Yeah, that was why. That was my instinct as well. Uh, do we want to? Do we want to just go for that? Because it was in both our heads. Take it. History final answer. That is correct for a two. Okay. Steal. Can we bring in? Kirk? Can we bring in? Kirk? Yeah. Pause it here yeah, for a second. Yes, yeah, so I was gonna say. Can you pause it? So. I'm thinking, I, I, I actually wasn't 100% confident that we were going to win the challenge because at least for me, where I, where I grew up, like social studies meant history and like geography. So like it was, it wasn't just history, right? It was, history was definitely part of it, but it wasn't just history. But I knew like, if we kept this how it was, the match was over. Like we were not going to be able to come back from that. Yeah. So I was like, we just have to try for. It. And then Ethan was is like, you'll see it. He's like, well, I've only ever had social studies, and like and that's true. That I was like kind of, lying about that. I've never had a history class. It's always been social studies for me. And so at that point, I was like, well, maybe it's a regional thing then. And if it's a regional thing, we probably have a good chance of winning the challenge. Yeah, it, I feel like it is a regional thing because. At least I can speak on behalf of me. I don't know about Michael, but I never, we don't have social studies. Yeah, it's, it, it was just, interesting. I'll, I'll be honest, like every time I heard social studies, I thought it was just like a um, a class about like. Talking about your feelings. So, and, you know. Social and just like, you know, <laughs> being together. Like I never connected that it was like history, like mm. until this match. It just never even, because <laughs> yeah. we don't have fucking social studies here. So it's like, right. it's, it's yeah. very interesting watching the whole challenge happened of just like having no context as to what it's called, what it's not called and everything like that. It was, it was kind of interesting. And then like Cody was watching backstage and was like on the sort of same as Ethan and just like, yeah, I only, I only took social studies as well. So that's sort of how it all played but out. They're in I the guess. Northeast, and I then, guess. They just, that's what yeah. they do. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I think we do like, this is the match right here. Like, yeah, honestly. You knew it, Scott. Yeah, I mean, social, and, yeah, I mean, social studies is a part of history. Our history is part of history. It's, it's, so. it's a, lost, like, Scott. in American education, it is used to refer I, to history. I, I see what you mean. I've never had a history class. I've only ever had a <laughs> To be fair, we thought, thought just right. fuck it. Uh, Let's just so challenge. Like, sure. There's been, there been a couple yeah. of loosey-goosey yeah. challenges right. like that in the past. Right. So I was like, right. Right. just challenge to see what I just think once it becomes clear it's a regional thing, like, you have to kind of say, okay, because, because yeah, because otherwise it's like, oh, well, you're biased against Changeably. Yeah, uh, this is a. I guess the argument against that could be like, well, they American say history in the movie, so if they said it, it's in the script, uh, yeah, like that's what it should be. But points, it's the same class, so. Uh, so Kumite yeah. will not uh, be getting the steal. So with that being said, at the end of Legal Ease's turn, it's like saying in a, in a script, someone says car, but you write like you get to their spin, automobile, bring back some yeah, steel, some, something like that. Pretty much that, yeah. First spin <laughs> is away. And you land on Clive Barker. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Um, Hello. Bill, I know you did some work on this. Uh, yeah, how are you Bill about is it? probably one of the few people uh, who has okay. actually probably already oh, had some basis okay. in Clive Barker, like before it. this match. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's really only one category on here I know you don't want. Uh, yeah. So, and what everybody knows you don't want. Uh, Whatever could but, be. Yeah. So, yeah. you want to risk it? Yeah. It's all right, we'll spin again. Uh, for the record, it's uh, spinning again. <laughs> hands on. They are going to be stuck with, and they land on Spinner's Choice. Uh, I can love would that you they get that. Musicals, or do you want to hear the rest of the category? <laughs> musicals could go fuck itself. It's funny because, uh, yeah, well, any I other mean, scenario, Scott and I would have had a perfect one, spin. Okay, we would have uh, either had my strength, if we rate uh, respawn, or if we yeah, went yeah, second, we would have had Clive Barker and then Spinner's Choice. Just, like, like, keep the band either way, it would have been perfect. That's true. Like, if you had paused the match here and said, 
I think the legal ease of wins a Van Damme from this position. Get, I would have yeah, been yeah. like, you've oh, got to be joking. Yeah. Like, there's no way that we're <laughs> yeah, going to so be able to win this if they have a choice right now. Yeah. Van Damme train going. So pre-2000 John Claude Van Damme. Bar, I will have you. It's one of those things like ESPN right now would have put the win percentage for us at like 18% or something. Yeah. Van Damme. <laughs> what is the name of the trophy the tournament winner is to receive in the quest? Isn't it like the, the goal? I think it's the goal. I believe. Dragon. I mean, hadn't they hit Van Dam in like a previous sure match, and they pretty much ran yeah. through it? Uh, like, Golden yeah. Dragon, final answer. I think it was the previous match or the match before. Two points. It might have been, yeah, the, the match before this. What part of Randall Poe's so, body did you guys do any, uh, cut off a part of when the enemy will see him in hard target? I think we agreed to just attack one category, right? We were like, let's not even bother spreading it out because there's just too many movies. I, yeah, I think maybe we talked about it and then you just like with our schedules, it didn't work out or something like yeah. that. So I was also like, we, very busy around this time. So I remember like, yeah, I think I told Scott, like, here? I'm not going to be much yeah, else on the opponent's time. strengths. All right, your multiple choice options are A, ear, I'm worried about that. B, finger. Yeah, so we kind of got away lucky, I guess, in that regard too, because we didn't prepare as much as we normally would, of course. Yeah. Um, I'm leaning, I'm leaning Sharon here. Yeah. I think that I think it's Sharon. Um, yeah, I, I do not remember for some reason. Uh, yeah, do you want to go for it? Pointing. Yeah, it's fine. A final answer. He is all ears. That is correct. <laughs> Your next question. Who plays Mike Mookie Anderson in Nowhere to Run? It is uh, Roman Roy himself, Kieran Culkin. Uh, <laughs> so, you, you cool with that, Bill? Kieran Culkin, final answer. That's Joseph, right? That is correct for two points. I believe so, yeah. Can't wait okay. <laughs> it's really hard with all these video store what? shields. Uh, I know. I saw Harley Nard. Three two thousand fan damn films yeah, were directed right. by Sheldon Ledich. I think it's two. I think it's. I was just going to say that. Yeah, yeah I think. Uh, I think one of them might be Double Tim, Impact so. and uh, Lionheart. I think. I, I think yeah, right. I mean, this is just like dead air for us because we know nothing. Like, about like, right here. Yeah. Here. <laughs> I will say, like when when Jay picked uh, him against and finally, me, I watched two in Jesse Vini movies, movies and that was it. Just Jack like first I haven't seen Bloodsport. I haven't seen Hard Target. I'll just watch these two just so I can say I've seen them. I've seen Sudden Death. I think that's the only one I've seen. Oh, okay. It's because of hockey. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I have a, I I think have I a gut, but I'm not one. confident. If you're not confident, I say more. Uh, Sudden Death yeah, has a scene where there's, there's a fight scene in the kitchen, and like the Pittsburgh Penguins mascot gets like his hand in. burnt on a like stovetop or something. It's pretty oh, great. Salzburg. We need to have more Amber. mascots in movies. I was okay, like, yeah. Play a I didn't know this one. I was thinking Rome. Yeah, because well, they they find the Coliseum at the end of the movie. That's, right, that's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, can you get repeated <laughs> options, please? Sure. Oh, like an exploding coke machine or something. Berlin, yeah, they hide behind Amsterdam, C, Salzburg, or D, Antwerp. Also, you just got... Okay, I'm between Cartman and Kenny. Nice. Uh, so... It doesn't, because it's pretty... Oh, yeah, we actually had a steel chance on this one. I which one's your gut? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bar, that's I was saying that's sudden death. I, I, I am not wrong at all. Okay. Or like final answer. I may have I that is incorrect I double I may, uh, could have missed both. Sorry, legal ease. Have. Your uh, options again are we a Berlin, last question. B Amsterdam, uh, C I don't Salzburg, think so. I think have one or D more, Amsterdam. Yeah, I think it's oh, it could be this. I'm feeling like Amsterdam or Amsterdam. Yeah, the other two seem pretty obtuse if we're being honest. So I I, I would lean towards that as well. Which one do you want to go with? Antwerp or Am I think maybe Amsterdam? Amsterdam. I would say Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yeah, Amsterdam. Right. all right. Amsterdam, final answer. That is also incorrect. We Honestly, my logic was super bad there. I, I, like, you would, it would so be more likely that it would be the obtuse ones the if they're in there. Like, I was going to say, like, I don't think I would have thought it's the two that I had ever heard. I yeah, that's right. The two I have. Okay, really so all right, we, we have an Easter egg coming up here with uh, the one point question. So pause it right after three, the question gets asked. Sorry, I'm coming out of that round. Down two is pretty good. It was so much better than I thought it would be for us. Yeah, I mean, you basically, if you guys take care of business, you're like forcing them to answer their four pointer. So. 
Kong of Age slash teen and the 1980s. Right. Sweet. So with right. that being said, we will let our teams pick what they want. We we're still needed low, right like that. We back needed back like a lucky moment, moment to really to happen. One, two, three, and, yeah. Four yeah. and we got it. So you needed we definitely did right. get it. To be like, you needed a 12 angry question for the two final. There are two in specifically. There are three in recent releases and there are four in the 2010s. Uh, we will start with legal ease as they are behind a uh, bar. You will give them their questions because I gave them their questions around two. Okay. Uh, and both teams, you have two repeats remaining and a challenge if you need to use them. So this, they don't, I don't think they take uh, anything that they for your order for, right, question for the, the realm of the 1990s. I don't remember. Do you remember, Scott? I don't remember either. What 90s comic All right, so pause it here for a second. A so <laughs> I've never revealed this, but I... For some reason, I, I just got my brain went to mush for a second, and I thought that the answer was Batman Forever to this question. Oh. So watch my face after Ethan says Batman and Robin for like a second. <laughs> Cast that includes Uma Thurman, George Clooney, and Chris O'Donnell. Batman and Robin. That is correct. For one point. <laughs> 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 no I closed my eyes so like, oh <laughs> no. That just got <laughs> okay, oh, okay. run it back. <laughs> Watch it one more time. There wasn't even a moment of belief. It was just the disappointment, and then they said correct, and your face just didn't change. <laughs> correct for one yeah, like, no, okay. <laughs> it looked like how he looked when right. um, Amaru called go Spider Man 2, two like the worst comic book movie ever. Scott, are you ready? After it was five hours deep into that stream, yeah. Two point question. In coming of age. That's what hilarious. specific thing are the kids looking for in Stand By Me? A dead body. You guys want to see a dead body? That's correct. For two points. Uh, and the lead. So there you go. Yes. A trivia flashback so, exclusive. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> right. I did not know about that. Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Your question. Who directed Big trouble in Little China. And Scott, how dare you think I wouldn't know Batman and Robin? Correct. Yeah, I I know that was just it was stupid of me on multiple levels. <laughs> it's like assuming you would miss a question from like Little Women or something. Two point yeah. in the category of classics. Once I can find it, <laughs> Sorry. It's still too soon. Sorry. In twelve angry men. The boy on just trial is chop a grenade and just fucking hide. Just that. How did he supposedly kill him? And like you think, right? Twelve Angry Men is just one of those community movies, right? Like oh, you absolutely. figure, like every everyone in this community knows this movie. Um, yeah, I thought we yeah. were done at this point. I was like, this is an easy two point right there. We're done. Like that's it. Right. I saw this movie once years uh, ago, and I remember like it's all about the knife. Like that's, every, that's like the big crux of because it's like the poster. Yeah. Like we're yeah, for stabbed him. Yeah. Oh, Stabbing okay. him. Sorry, I'm what sorry. Odds? It's a classic. I actually knew. And then all of a sudden, no, uh, level pegging, like, it's anybody's game. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now it's time. It's like, okay. Three and four now. And then they're four. Somehow we, uh, we got our way back to even. Three, three, three and three. Three. That's just one of those crazy, like, of all the fucking two pointers. Right. Your three point yeah. question yeah. in recent like, releases is, is This is probably, this what might be my favorite question. Film right here. Features performances <laughs> by Rose Byrne. Oh, because it's such a shitty comedy that Because, you know, some. So many of these questions like in the boss, league, it's like you can't pinpoint yeah. how you know it. You just like yeah. absorb the information from like yeah. liking movies. <laughs> this I oh, I knew exactly how I knew it, and it's because I saw the trailer so many freaking times for this movie. Of course, I didn't see the actual movie. I was mad because I knew the movie because I had seen the trailer a thousand times, but I couldn't remember the, the title at all. So I was when you said it, I was so excited. Who plays? That has a very generic title. It's terrible. In Friday Night Lights. Uh, Bill, it's Lucas Black. Okay. My rod. I'm fairly <laughs> confident with that. Yeah, you're Was that recent <laughs> releases? Was that what that <laughs> category was? Lucas Black, have? final answer. Yeah. I think it was recent releases. Yeah. 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 Game once again. Which was, was, was honestly, that was a bold choice because 2020 just was so All right, so we will go in to terms of the release. For their four yeah. point question in the 2010s. <laughs> Thanks, Cody. And your question is. <laughs> What animal was David's brother turned into? And I had no right. idea. This was this is two matches like, in a row. The run we got like, like where Ethan eight, randomly eight, like, eight, like eight, the weirdo small little pocket movies that are like yeah. squarely in Ethan's <laughs> bed because we got the lighthouse <laughs> next time. Yeah. yeah, that was great. Four point of recent releases in A24. Just keeping it coming. Let's go, Ethan. <laughs> 
So here is the situation. Uh, we go to Kumite. I mean, I've seen the lobster one the time. Category yeah. of yes, I am. Okay. I like I'm it. not as good as Joseph, but I could have told you that a long time ago. <laughs> Legal ease will win. Uh, reminder, Kumite, you have two repeats left. And then this is another one of those things of where it's like, and then it's the, Bill fa the, way, time, right? the fact Bill's that Bill pulled this, this like, it's like, I feel like we're not going to win this Miller, match if Bill yeah, was able to pull like, something like this. That was a great pull. Oh, it's good, yeah. <laughs> the look on his face. Yeah. <laughs> He has a bunch of files, it's, but it's, it's a great joke. Like it's a, yeah, yeah, I watched the movie like that? a couple months after this match, and I was just like, oh, that's the thing. That that's the thing that Bill's like. Wow. It's just like, well, you're you're going going clicked and pointed. Sudden yeah. death. <laughs> oh, right, we are going to sudden death. Sudden death works. Just so, like, can, can you pause it, Michael? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, that happened That happened yeah, really fucking quick, actually. Yeah. Yeah. happened it really quick. Um, But holy shit, now it's like, okay, sudden death. Now, this is just whatever happens, happens. Like, this is this your first this is your first time i mean no it's scott, not the first time for scott yeah because of the adam I, match but the Alan match but yeah had ethan, ethan had you been um, so i feel like i hadn't but maybe someone else remembers if joseph joseph's watching he probably knows um yeah. <laughs> i don't think i had been in sudden death before though yeah i can't recall any match but like this is and then like, we had it in back-to-back -back matches yeah. oh yeah which, that's even crazy um but like, what were you kind of like? Is this just whatever happens happens now? Like, I felt kind of okay because I felt like, in general, like one pointer questions. I feel like we had them. Like, I wasn't feeling great about it because, like, obviously, like they're both good players, but I felt like we might edge them out. Like, because all you need is one person to miss, and both of us yeah, hit yeah. right. So, I I will say the momentum was like weird in the match though. Again though, because like we battled all the way back, we got the four pointer. Like you would think, oh, we're the ones who like have the momentum on our side. But then the way that that four pointer happened for them and Bill getting that pull, like it honestly it like yeah, sucked yeah. the wind out of it. And again, and it was like, man, if they pulled that, like we're not going to be able to beat them. Like they're, you know, it's just their match. But uh, then the question that turned out to be. Oh, I have so much to say about this. Wait, I think we have to take any sort of lead will win. Uh, it's crazy how like two repeats. There was a certain uh, event that was released like a week ago to get going. that it, this popped up again, sure. featuring someone that's All in the right. show. Oh, yeah. That was lucky. Uh, in sudden death, what character has been played? So here's the thing. I don't know if you can actually Bench see Margo it on my Rock. face, but like I really debate whether i wanted to write the first or not because i knew it was the first but i was like i don't yeah they didn't ask for specific I, first of all and yeah i was like i you know there's there could always be a weird thing where like i don't know kate blanchett played somebody like you know it wasn't the exact same queen or work so it's always safer everyone who's played a few matches knows that it's always safer to be general than specific unless yeah, they yeah. ask for specific I also, and that's I, how I felt too. I had yeah. no idea. I was like, this might be like Queen Elizabeth the Sixth or something. I had no idea, you know? <laughs> I remember I, I was like, I think I was talking to Cody or something after. I was like, if I was, if I was on like the manager of either team that got it wrong, I would challenge because it, the question threw me off initially because it says what character. Exactly. And I was like, character instead and of like is, real life person or what person has been played. And then I exactly. clicked onto it. And so, that would have been my challenge if I was Kumite, just like hammering on the character, which implies it. It's not official, but it implies like a fictional person. Um, yeah. With the wording of that, I think it, if they had in, done in, that, in a, in there sense, might have been said, a chance they would have got it thrown out. But in, in that yeah. sense, it would have said historical figure, like to something make like that, it yeah. clear. Yeah. Like, okay, we're looking for someone who's who's existed. Like, I totally see what you mean by character. Like, um, right, and but, that's what, yeah. that's what I was going to say. Is like for me at least one of the things with the challenge is that they did say character not real life person so i feel like that for me at least that's more of an argument for our answers being right because that's the only way they would have been referred to in the movie right and exactly. when you say it's character you're too. you're talking about the movie on. you're not going outside the movie and talking about historical context really if you're not saying real life yeah. person yeah and i, I want to be on the record sorry go ahead jake i was, I was just gonna say <clears throat> and we'll get into it but there's there's a this has happened precedence. before. This, yeah, it's been a precedence, and I will talk about them. I'll bring up uh, when when we get to it. 
But yeah, sorry, Ethan. No, no, yeah, I was just going to say, like, I just want to be on the record. I think that even if they had said, like, what historical figure, I think any variation of this question, I feel like our answers are acceptable based on, you know, like, oh, yeah. history and wording and the movie. Like, I feel like I, there was no way yeah. it wasn't acceptable, what we said. I, I think you have to accept Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I. Like, yeah, I mean, I get, I mean, this is even entering into, if I was, the host of the onto free for all i would have accepted queen of england but like that's a different thing because people say potus or president when talking about like president of the united states and stuff like that so like that's that's my viewpoint just like queen elizabeth queen elizabeth the first etc etc it it all falls under the same uh umbrella for me um so I-, I never had a really like it wasn't really ever any controversy for me, even though I'm sure if I was on the losing side, I would have been pissed about it because like it would have been so fucking close. But you know, just being a neutral observer, like it was never really that controversial for me. Um, so yeah. Anyway, and I want to say I mean, since pa- since Payson is here, um, we gave him a lot of crap after what happened in the Jurassic Sharks match with the fake out or whatever at the end. However, <laughs> Payson <laughs> saved us. Payson yeah. saved us in this match because. Payson was the one who was backstage when the ch- challenge happened and was almost immediately like, yeah, there's precedent. I saw this in a previous match. And I don't know if anyone else who was there would have known that. And yeah, because of that, because we were able to find the match, like it was basically over at that point. Like there was nothing I, that they could do. With I the was like, exactly. Cause I watched this about an hour and a half after it had filmed. And I was like, Oh fuck! Please, please, someone remember Jake versus Tui. Please, some because I remember that because that was the first match, uh, the first question of that match, and then the exact same thing. I was like, "Holy fuck!" Please, someone remember this because if they re- someone remembers, then it's essentially like challenge over, like because it's happened before, same exact situation. Yeah, nice. And then luckily, Payson was Payson. watching live. Thank at the you, time. Payson. Yeah, and so yeah. yeah. Thank you, Payson. <laughs> I feel like so Payson, you're, you're up, forgiven for like doing the most ultimate trollish thing I've ever seen. We didn't. We didn't. <laughs> still that. fucking hilarious. But yeah, we didn't say he's right. forgiven. That was <laughs> well, I remember. I remember watching the match and it getting to this point and just realizing, just someone mentioned my match, mentioned me against Nick because I literally challenged because we both had Queen Elizabeth and they go, yeah. "It's incorrect. It's Queen Elizabeth the first. And I'm like. Uh, can we challenge? Because in the movie, she's not the first at the time. She's the mm. only one. She's going to be just known as Queen Elizabeth. It's, and then I bring up, and I think the big, the big part, the the very a similar um, challenge that you could say is the Great War compared to World War One. They never called it World War One back during the you know the the ten the nineteen ten. So it was well, they didn't know that the only war at the time. Pre- that was, they didn't know that was a prequel at the time. To World War II. <laughs> I, that's yeah. true. They didn't know it was the prequel to World War Two. <laughs> But yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where it's just like, do you have to say Spider Man one when you're referring to Spider Man? Like right. Spider Man two. Spider Man the first. It's it's a it's a whole thing, but I feel like generally speaking, and I, I think yeah, the, the I, right. I, thing I said I said to Jake that uh, I told Jake this after the entrepreneur. Entre- I said I think we should agree no more questions about the royal family anymore because <laughs> it just creates a fucking headache every single time because because then somebody's American gonna say the duke of edinburgh thing. or whatever yeah yeah <laughs> so just like, we should agree like yeah just no more like title royal family questions so yeah just well, that's that's scream the first and scream the fifth <laughs> 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 but that, that, that that's all that's a separate argument that we could have is movie titles just being right. the same and then being like uh it's like which planet of the apes movie i just put planet of the apes and then it's like oh, oh yeah it's one? it's so frustrating yeah. like you can't really express this thought anywhere but it's like oh like it's just those titles are going to create such a headache for like trivia just put scream <laughs> yeah. five imagine just saying that scream and... like or just or five make, cream, make like the like... official title like scream <laughs> apostrophe 22 like this you're just going to save us a lot of trouble, like radio silence. Please just name it Scream 5. Like, come on. Come also, on, like, yeah, it's right. just a, just stupid to do that anyway, not even trivia wise. Like, stop yeah. doing that. Like, although in Scream, it does make sense. They, they do. Yeah. Reference it, that. yeah they, oh, they, I haven't, I haven't Halloween seen it yet, is so. weird. Never, they do, they do like, it, Halloween yeah. is the weird one because it's like, that's literally in the same timeline as the first one. So, it, and it's yeah. technically yeah. Halloween 2 because cool. it's a direct sequel to the first yeah. one. But there's anyway. a two Halloween 2, <laughs> so you can't call it Halloween 2. <laughs> Let's call it Halloween again. Uh, yeah. oh, I think we've we've yeah. set our, our piece now. 
<laughs> and and fuck Kumite and the horse they're in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, let's watch the moment, of course. Yeah. I think also another Easter egg, I guess, for facial expressions. If you watch my face uh, when Jake says some things, you can pick up on something. <laughs> well, pretty quick. And I couldn't believe that they called Kumite the winner, like, because well, they do end your the winner and they say to me, Kumite. Question. Yeah, because Jake, what I don't even think he heard that. He was just like, well, yeah, Blanchett. Jake, thinks yeah, Jake, Jake lost, thought that they were going to say that we had won, and then yeah. so did I. <laughs> Imagine if we had lost. I honestly earlier. thought I was expecting uh, Holtzman to say legal ease. I was like, okay, that makes sense. And then when he said Kumit, I was like, did I just miss something? I um, guess in the doc it said the first or something. Three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Ethan first. Queen Elizabeth and J uh, and Jake. Specifically, Queen Elizabeth the Watch first. My face. And specifically <laughs> was not asked for. I said Queen I, can, I foresaw yeah. that the challenge was oh, coming. Yeah. It's so immediately near this is going to be a thing. And your winner. Oh, my God. Look how happy I was. I was like, yeah. Queen Elizabeth. And <laughs> this is like, this, you can see the moment. His heart breaks. Winner. Yeah, Kirk was like, yeah. No. We get to work. I feel like they already had Kirk winner. brought in before they even said challenge. Kumite. Queen Elizabeth Upper, <laughs> I'm I guess Lily, yeah. We're getting a challenge though. Okay, so yes. there's yeah, we'll challenge you. Yeah, Ethan legit looks like he just saw a ghost. That is I was hilarious. so confused. <laughs> yeah, she's never in any of those movies, she's never referred to as Queen Elizabeth the first. Yeah, and Queen that's the point that like all you were three just of those making characters' names are Jake, Queen Elizabeth. I think. The question yeah. never said what specific character. Yeah. Okay. okay. We different will, people. We will look into it. <laughs> different people right back. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> who's, the, who's the other one? Yeah, I mean, right, it, yeah, it, it's not correct to say that they're different people. Again, I, I firmly understand why Jake is frustrated and like. Uh, and, and I think in most situations we all would be. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't blame him for any of his actions because I would have been, probably been the same way. If yeah. This had happened to me. Final score of thirty to twenty-nine. Uh, that was a fantastic match from both teams. Uh, we're going to go into post match interviews, starting with and our unfortunate the whole challenge. Debate was just smooth sailing, uh, I assume it was all just yeah, rainbows. And, that ending and honestly, that look, Kumite, they got really the last laugh because they about it, have the belt. Yeah, so. yeah, it's just, regardless. Uh, everyone's yeah. Congrats yeah. to them, they yeah. earned it. I was gonna write Queen of England. Wow, that's wow, that is kind of hilarious. That that would have just been too much. If that I mean, that's literally wow. what Bob just that's wrote. Bob that's, Bob right. yeah. that's amazing. I feel like they wouldn't have accepted that. I forgot Bill said that. In this way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just does. There's no way around it. But if you got to lose to somebody, at least yeah, they did. I like Ethan and Scott, and, and they play a fight game, and that's very clear. I mean. You know, we, we, we talk That's what we aspire to. Yeah. Even when we beat someone yeah. in the most brutal way, like <laughs> possible, I want them to still be like, "Yeah, they're kind of cool guys." Like that's that's the <laughs> that's most important thing to me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's the Dake will talking. I don't know. <laughs> and again, like not only did Kumite, I guess, get the last lap because they won the belt, but like next match, you know. It came back to sort of bite us the challenge yeah. a little bit. Yep. No. We got Correct. We are, we are you got the, the four pointer. pointer. So, I uh, mean, you know, it's. it's yeah, and, then and Jake, they should. Jake's like, they totally being, should. Like, Jake's like being hard on himself, where it's like. Yeah, I don't want to take anything away. It, from I think we all know how he feels where it's like he I, missed the two point. I saw like it's the weight feels like so But also, massive, like, but it's, like, it's not like clearly that. not. Like, it's and he like, picked up several rolling, points for them in round one. Yeah, had a perfect it's, it's a team match. Like, yeah. The uh, only way you can ever, like, this one's blame the team is if you yourself go perfect with any question you ever get. Like, it's a team match. People miss questions, people get questions. Fantastic match. I still and feel uh, personally responsible for the next Angry match, Men, but better, I know, but I know that Scott will disagree. Since I've seen it. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, it's different. I still feel personally but responsible for the, what happens in the next match, but, you know, right. now that we're talking no, about it. No, because I should, back, again, I was the one who called off the challenge. If if I had said, let's challenge, we would have probably uh, won. That being said, 
Thank you. Because obviously, I, after the fact, I thought of all these great arguments as to why Ford V for, versus Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in the shower, two days later, uh, like guys, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best time. To be what well, if you put oh, Lord of the Rings plus the Return of the King, you would have gotten credit for it, right? It's just a different way of saying the same thing. Yes, I'm aware, Cody. That's what I'm saying. It was my fault for not challenging. Everybody in this chat, everybody in this room's been there where you. Although, again, some people felt like Holtzman got screwed also in round one with the whole, like, where he didn't hear the countdown thing happening. But I think we made the right call. Oh, yeah. And then Boatman was like, well, too bad. So, you know, I guess you could say it came out in the wash at the end. I don't know why didn't say it. Right, but it's No, no, I know. I, I just mean that was the sentiment. Yeah, I mean, if this had happened around, if this had been a one pointer in round one, nobody would have played deny, but. It's Six and three, it really sucks. good record. Um, yeah. But let's talk about you guys. Um, Six and threes, three, yeah. I mean, um, no matter Six what, and three now, yeah. Win, That's a really uh, good, good record. Pushed one on, you played fantastic. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about it? Um, I just want to say really quick, Scott. I feel like this was one of the most like synergistic matches we played. Like, wow, you know, the, what the a blast! Like, with them, the four the was on. Like, I had no idea. The three was you. I wasn't going to pull that name. The three was you. Yeah. Honestly, I know Bill said like it's so. Uh -huh, it's a real word. I disagree. They played a bad. <laughs> By the way, my name on Streamyard yeah, tonight is the boss from like a boss. They played a bad match, like you know. I, I like those guys too. Yeah, it's amazing. It sucks. It sucks to win this way. It, on, it oh, honestly does. And name. I know in their position they're gonna. Hear and for the second straight match too, like it was just because the. It, it's I, I always a weird feeling like totally winning totally these matches, and bunches it sucks losing. It's also incredibly weird, especially in the first match playing the match. Winning. Also, yeah, with the like throw in our on match, match right. that we had but against that Ryan and I had against, uh, against uh, Boatman uh, and, uh, and Coho, oh, fuck, which was right. also yeah. came down to a letter. And like, yeah. and I was, I was like, that. Boatman um, is going to hate me until the, the right end of time. Was made all <laughs> that mean that well, but and honestly, I probably would feel the same way. No, I mean, like I said, I don't think that was a crazy time for the guys. Your team finagled your way into the right answer. I think you got the three, you and two, you and Jake all had the right answers. Just different version of it, so I don't. I don't think this is going to be one of the people that talk about like, oh, they weaseled their way to it. No, you guys had the right answer on the board. Like I think by someone said, like the the sort of yeah, absolutely. Uh, so most said, sort of move on controversial moment is definitely so like that, the social uh, studies history one things. compared to this. Uh, that's definitely like that. more controversial for sure. Because you like like you mentioned, uh, you, you could playing, argue that uh, in the uh, movie they probably say history. So like that playing the winner. Of that's the like, interesting part. Where this, like, I, I feel like it's pretty clear. Yeah. It's just been, if this yeah, is round one, I don't think it, that, that it's like I don't think Jake is probably yeah. as upset yeah. as he would be. Just it's, it's just this is like the I, game winning I, shot, you know, essentially. Say, so, like, wanna, yeah, he did a Gordon Hayward where like it was hardcore and then it like bounced in and around. I will say, I would still like to play second reel sometime. This was that was the other team that we could have faced, obviously, and yeah. They would be fun to play, so I don't know well, how the schedule is yeah, going to work out for this year, but I think that would be a cool match. That match is another thing. Well, yeah, nobody ever Because you can't watch it like this. And they're obviously some crazy shit. Something unfortunate. I think it would be a fun match. Literally the last question. I look forward to it. You should do a trivia Let's flashback for that someday, a match that no one has ever seen. <laughs> just to put, like, that would be pretty play good. By play thing, just get yeah. the people yeah. in and just be like, okay, so here's the dot from the match. Here's what the questions were. Here's what happened. Because they, they did that in um in World War II games way back then. Um, yeah, they used to do that. Yeah, honestly, it was a very tight match. Um, both teams showing... Have Real like a telestrator um, and drawing uh, lines on the screen. Both teams to be, <laughs> well, we could uh, like recreate the match. Future. Feel myself Some like great Matt leaned right both and teams then four <laughs> wrote with yeah, us. Yeah, I can play Matt and Mike can be Thomas, and then we just um, yeah. and then so great job play both teams. Holtzman and then Mike plays Kyle. We just uh, play so characters. That being said, <laughs> thank you all for watching. I have been Cameron Holton, and, I'm and it's matches like this too, where it's like, oh God, what is going to happen when the camera stops rolling? Right, and we're all just yeah. there in the stream. Yeah, it's. The, I don't think it gets talked about enough. Like the most, the awkward like, okay, and record and just bring everyone in. And it's like, especially, it's even awkward when there's just been like a normal match where nothing has happened. But when there's been anything fucking controversial, it's just like, 
Is okay, that two I'm seconds? Yeah. Take back silence. a drink of water here. Who's gonna be the first? Okay, are we gonna just talk I'm, about that? Are we gonna talk about this, or are we just gonna talk about? You oh, know, someone's like, I actually, got, I actually got, I actually got something I need to do. When really they have like yeah. nothing on. <laughs> this this is is really, I was gonna go get on the call with Ethan, and we were just gonna be like, holy shit, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there's also like the, like that kind of moment where you're just like you know that once you get into the the green room after the match, like it's not going to be everyone who was on screen before. Like not everyone's going to. Yeah, even sometimes you around. wonder. Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah, you don't because if you don't have access, you have like no idea who the fuck is watching backstage. Like. Yeah. yeah, and if you're like mad about a ruling, like I mean, I've I don't think I've ever done it, but I've, there's people who just drop off and don't even like stick around for it, which is fine. But you yeah. kind of can tell when it's going to happen. <laughs> nah, so. Ethan, I guess we should start calling you the, the JKM killer in tournament settings because <laughs> two times, yeah. that's not coincidence. That's true. Yeah, if your name is Jake and your last name starts with an M, you fucking, you better watch out. You watch out for Ethan Miller, man. I'm not going to study for the tournament. next time that happens. Because you just know you're going to win because it's just yeah. like, well, I'm playing JKM. I'm going to exactly. win. <laughs> in official league matches, of course. Oh, yeah, we get right. of course. Yeah. Tournament setting, tournament setting. Right, right, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what a crazy, crazy match! Um, I said to you guys before, but it's maybe my favorite was a match of last year. Like, it's I'm just, genuinely honored that you that you think it's that. honestly like I it's. Know, just, yeah. I love because it's a match where like I think e- either teams are gonna win at any point in the match. Like halfway through round one, I'm like, oh yeah, legal ease. Like after round one, oh Kumite. Round two, it's just like it changes, and yeah. then and you get the, the rare like double four pointer hit like that yeah that doesn't happen at it all. doesn't happen often, often. so like, yeah. and then sudden death and then the two challenges and it's just like it it's a very juicy match there's a lot to really get into as which we, could almost like do a trivia flashback episode on that exactly oh, <laughs> but um yeah i i'm i'm a little upset that it didn't get nominated if I can, if yeah, talk I mean, about snubs, I, I, would be, like, I know you're like Cody was in the chat. If you're still there or anyone, like, I because I have now I wonder why. Like, is it just because it is controversial? Um, if, if so, like, fair enough, I guess. But it honestly, like, it could be why there were other nominated. matches that they wanted yeah. or they liked more, and then there was like, oh, there well, were, unfortunately, just there were a lot of great matches this year. I don't, I don't, I'm just, you know, joking around mainly when I'm like, like oh, I can't believe this didn't get nominated because, you know, everything he's, they got nominated was not, obviously he's, great. He's not, he's not joking around. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, like the, the clash match that happens after this is like basically the same match as what we just watched. It, it is, obviously, yeah. I feel differently about it because we lost, but like, I understand like it probably doesn't make sense to nominate both of them because they're kind of the same thing. Yeah, but then, they're like, very similar. They're like mirroring. Is that advantage. just because that was a semis finals match or like I mean that yeah, that could be it too. Or did some people who were in that match like that match more than this one, so they voted for that one? Like it's it, there's we don't know. I we're not we weren't I, mean, mm-hmm. I think this match like it's a good match, but like, like I just like this controversial. Match just like, yeah, there's, 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 there's 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 two challenges. There's two challenges and the sun and part of that is the sun there, but yeah, the um Right. But I think that's that wraps us up today. Uh, yeah, this is fun. I feel like I learned a lot from this one. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, I I guess final thoughts. Um, how do you guys feel? <laughs> Uh, I feel good about it. I mean, it's fun. It, that was a great match. It's like one of my, you said it's one of your favorites of the season. It was one of, one of my favorite matches I've ever been a part of. So, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, outside of Ethan beating Jake in singles, like, I think for singles for both of us has just we've just kind of been a little middle of the road probably overall so like these matches are like the things which keep us going at least for me at least like hey we can actually like we there's actually smoker like we can do this we can get back to a title match we can you know we can be one of the top teams in this division and i still think we can going into the new season because i think we yeah we just feed off each other well and and we both play our best matches when we like are the best matches that we have played have been when we're on a team together so yeah i totally agree like i, I do feel wishy-washy about myself like singles wise but I, I always feel like way more confident when i'm playing with scott and like just you know six and three we still have a great record like six do, and three do right? you do you uh, yeah. be on a three flashback and do the mic match do you want to move <laughs> which one the the mic when you played mic. Mic. <laughs> oh <laughs> we're bringing up that one if you want to <laughs> Uh, we can do that. That was something, yeah. We can just keep it running right now. We have all the participants. <laughs> uh, um, but, Michael, uh, final thoughts? What do you think? 
Oh, I mean, I guess, yeah, great match. It was uh, fun. Love, I love controversy. I love a good challenge. Um, I love when people get mad and upset. Um, It just, yeah, I I just love that stuff. Um, And yeah, it was a good match. I I, I love when people get the four pointers because, you know, no one just wants to see people miss four pointers the whole time. It feels Um, like a real accomplishment to get a four pointer. Cause yeah, like, and then they chose. I know this because like, I saw this movie, and I just know this detail, and it's sticking what, out. Do you remember me. what Kumite's category was? Was it like nineties or? I think, I think it was nineties. Yeah. yeah, I think it was nineties. So, yeah. So it was twenty tens and nineties, two broad ass categories. Um, going both. That's awesome. And yeah, no yeah, tarot card definitely. questions. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I picked twenty tens against Ethan, and I was like, uh, yeah, I will say that, that question was, was really in the Sharks really match. Also. <laughs> and then came yeah, back, that's full circle in the Sharks. Yeah. Yep. But, um, I mean, if you, uh, if you guys want to see like reactions, just go go to that question and just look at Ethan's reaction. He's just like, I can't believe this has happened. And I, 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 I believe I literally said, "Well, I'm okay losing on this question because we had no idea." <laughs> Live by the sword, die by the sword, you know. Uh, yeah, but uh, but thank you so much, guys, for coming on. Yeah, thank Ethan, you. You're in the two times club, Scott. Have you back anytime? um sure i think next week we're gonna i think we talked i think we're gonna have kelly i think that's what we agreed on all right yeah sure let's just agree now let's just (laughs) let's make it how the sausage is made (laughs) this is yeah this is how it does we we briefly talked about it in the last minute of the of the episode um but i think kelly and then i think we gotta get paul on for the next one after that Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. we've been trying to get Paul on. It's just trying to just organize it. Um, we were going to do a team match, and then things just kind of. You got to do the team eighties against. Uh... Oh, Nick I Kitchener. just forgot what. Yeah, what Michael and Paul's team name was, uh, but the... that title match, like that's got to be the one. Uh, it's that the one? name. It's the it's the name of the podcast. The Dub Mob is on. Uh... Oh right, the big picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we'll talk about matches and, and that sort of stuff. But thank you, everyone. We actually got a lot of people in this one. I'm very happy with that. So Andrew, Cody, Payson, I think Adelaide was in for a bit. Joseph, uh, Joseph. I think that's everyone. But yeah. Uh, but thank you, everyone, uh, for watching. Uh, we'll see you hopefully next week. And I don't really know how to.